So we already have some experience with traditional fixed rate mortgages, but I'll give a little bit of review before we talk about a little variation, or maybe you could say a big variation on it, which is a balloon payment mortgage. So right over here, what I've depicted are the different payments you would make on a 30-year fixed mortgage. So this one right over here is 30, a 30-year, 30 a 30-year fixed mortgage, where you have a fixed payment every month of $1,432. And the loan amount is $300,000. So before you make your first payment, you owe the bank $300,000. $100,000 and you keep making these payments. And we've seen in previous videos is that your very first payment you see in magenta here is mostly interest. 1,000 of that $1,432 is interest. Then the next payment, well, you've paid down the principal a little bit, not a lot, not a lot that uh, maybe it looks like it's about 400 something dollars. Now your next payment, $999 of it is interest. And the next payment, $997 are interest. And you keep doing that for all 360 payments. Remember, 30 years times 12 months per year, you're going to have 360 payments. And as you get to the end of your 30 year mortgage, most of your payment is principal. So on the two months before you've paid it off, that 358th payment, only $14 is interest. Then the next one, only almost, I guess, nine or $10 is interest. Then roughly $5 is interest, and then you have paid off the entire loan. So you have a fixed payment, you also have a fixed interest rate. I haven't said what the interest rate is here for, 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 this, for this mortgage. But then you pay it off over 30 years. There's a 30 year amortization. 30 year amortization. So it's also 30 year amortization. And the word amortization means kind of spreading out, spreading out something. So in this case, you're spreading out the payments over 30 years. Now given that, why am I giving this as the preface to a balloon loan? A balloon, a balloon payment mortgage. Well, in a balloon payment, and this was a little bit confusing to me the first time I learned about it, the term is different than the amortization. So for example, you could have a 10-year term balloon payment loan, 10-year term, that still amortizes over 30 years. So what do I mean by that? Well, in this situation, your payments could be exactly the same, but then after 10 years, because it's a 10 year term, you have the loan for 10 years. After 10 years, the loan is done for. So 10 years is 120 months. So this is the 10 years right over here. It's the first 120 months. After 10 years, so you amortize it. Remember, this, this payment schedule that we set up is based on a 30 year amortization, just as if we were doing a 30 year fixed rate mortgage. But in the balloon payment, if you had a 10 year term with a 30 year amortization, the payments are the same. But after the 10 years, on that, at the end of the loan, you don't just make that 120th payment, you have to pay back whatever the principal is, whatever's left on the loan. So we see that after 10 years, what's left on the loan is $236,352. So in a balloon payment, you pay, the loan lasts for 10 years, even though the amortization, the, the rate at which you're paying down the principal, you're paying down the loan, is the same as for whatever the amortization schedule is, the 30 year amortization. So question is, is well, why does this thing, why, why does this thing exist? Well, in some ways, this, this is like we talked about in the adjustable rate mortgages. It's spreading the interest rate risk between the bank and the lender. In a 30-year fixed loan, all of the interest rate risk goes to the bank. While in an adjustable rate mortgage, all of the interest rate risk goes to the, goes to the borrower. Here, the bank only is guaranteed to only take on interest rate risk for 10 years. Then after that, they get the balance of the loan. And well, and so you might say, well, well, what does the borrower do? Or why would a borrower ever want to do this? Well, they might want to do this because maybe they get a slightly lower interest rate than with a 30-year mortgage while they get to have the exact same payments. And they get a lower interest rate because the bank is taking on less interest rate risk. They have less risk if interest rates were to spike up you know, 20 years from now. 
And a lot of people might say, well, I don't think I'm going to own this property for more than 10 years. So as long as I get a 10-year fixed payment, then I'm, you know, at some point, if I sell the property in the ninth year, well, then I just pay off, I just pay off the loan. Another possibility is that the person thinks that they'll end up with a lot of cash for some reason. Maybe they're going to expect an inheritance. Maybe they expect to earn more money. Or another possibility, if none of that happens, if after the 10th year they say, hey, wait, I still want to continue paying this house down and I'm not, I don't plan on selling it and I haven't come up with some windfall of cash to pay $236,000, then they can just take out another loan to borrow the $236,000. And $36,000. And there's some risk involved there because you have to feel good that at that time you will still have a good credit history. You'll still have uh, the, the level of income necessary in order to get another mortgage. So hopefully this gives you a sense of what a balloon payment mortgage is. It's not anywhere near as typical as a as a, a, a fixed rate, 30-year fixed, or 15-year fixed, or 10-year fixed, or as an adjustable, or as common as an adjustable arm or a hybrid arm, but they do exist. So it's interesting to know about them.